Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Sense Tempo Connie Corso. So, I've got Remy with us right now. Nirvana's trying to dominate, make a point. Trying to assert herself, basically. Let's see how this goes. Remy is not a submissive female. Hackles are up, but she's being respectful. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. You're being a good girl. So Remy's inside now. She um she was a uh, she's bred to Batista. <clears throat> Nirvana really pushing her point. There we go. Um, and I do believe it's highly likely that she is pregnant because she's got that pretty fat. Pretty fat yone in the back. So, has not gone down. And usually that's how you know. Um, one of the best signs. And I've got Jolene out here too. Jolene, 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 Jolene. She's a sweet baby girl. Oh. Got Kubo out. So, crazy story, I had my very first dog fight last night, <laughs> um, wasn't super horrible, and um, it was pretty wild and unexpected, so <clears throat> we went to go, um, we are feeding the dogs last night, and it was already dark, I worked my tail off last night, I, I didn't stop working until, hey, hey, hey watch out now. Until about 10 p.m., I think, is when I actually stopped. Um, Nirvana, you need to get back over here now. And and so anyway, so I had Kubo out and um, opened the door for Tillicum to put his food in there. And Tillicum ran out and immediately launched himself onto Kubo. And um, I was able to grab Tillicum and put him up. But, um, anyway, I was really surprised by it, I'm not gonna lie. I've seen some dominant stuff out of, um, I've seen some dominant stuff out of Telecom. Hey, you need to get back over here now. Um, hey, but I haven't done a pack video with him for a while. You need to quit blindsiding everyone. Stop running into everybody. Um... And so anyway, so, um, anyway, got them separated. Nobody's hurt. Nobody's injured. Um, but it was annoying and I've decided that I'm going to neuter Tillicum. Now, normally I'm, I'm very anti-neutering. Um, and I would be the first one to tell you that you shouldn't neuter a dog just for temperament reasons, because it's not a guarantee that, that it'll fix the temperament issue. The only caveat to that is is when the dog is um, living in an environment like this. So let's say, for example, that you have a pet and um, it's just you and your dog and, and he's neutered and he's the king of his castle and then you take him into a dog park and there's an unneutered male, it could cause aggression. It could literally cause that um, neutered male to be insecure and um, go after the um, natural male. The only difference to that is whenever you have a pack like I do, you have a bunch of, of breeding animals, so males and females that are not neutered, and then you have one neutered animal. That dog knows it's neutered, and that dog will have um, less self-esteem. It will have less confidence um, because he knows that he's not the way he should be. And, um, and normally, normally, I, um, like I said, would... Wouldn't waste my time with that, but if he's gonna, you know, if he's gonna be acting a fool like that, I mean, it really and truly, it's probably better just because that way we don't ever have any accidents. Because I kind of thought about it and I was like, you know, what if, what if God caused that slight little, not caused it, you know what I mean? But like, what if that was a little warning for me to get him neutered so that there's never an incident where there's an accident? Because I will say, we've had. Um, dogs get out of <clears throat> kennels before. <laughs> Batista's notorious for opening kennels. Um, uh, last night, in fact, when Savannah and I were feeding the dogs, I walked past Idris' kennel and she jumped up on the door and it opened so it wasn't shut properly. 
So, I mean, things can happen. And I think that, um, Nirvana, you need to get back over here now. Let's go. And, um, and I think that it was just, it was a nice little warning is what I'll say. So, um, so anyway, so I feel good about it. Nirvana, what did I say? All the way. Let's go. Um, so I feel good about neutering him. I think it's, I think it's overall the best. Um, I'd be interested to see if it has any effect on, um, his, um, on his drive as far as like messing with the puppies. Or, I'm sorry, not messing with the puppies, messing with the chickens. Kimchi, come now. Let's go. Where'd she go? Oh, good girl. There you are. I thought you were outside of the fence. <laughs> so anyway, I thought it was wild that the first fight that I have with any of my dogs is um <laughs> is with Tillicum. Um a breed that is not even known for being aggressive. I just thought that was interesting. <whistles> but I'm wondering if it's that um like I said, I I really think he's like overcompensating if I'm being honest. I think that he um, that he's just around all these other dogs and he just, um, I think that he just, uh, I think that he just took it too far. You know what I mean? Where the other dogs, it's almost like they know what they're capable of and stuff like that. And so there's more hesitancy on the side of the Corsos to really go at it. Like, I, I don't know if they know what's at stake or what, but the Corsos, I've just not had that experience. They don't, you know, they don't act like that. Um, Tillicum really has always been very sweet and very gentle. So it definitely threw me for a loop. Um, but like I said, it's just one of those situations where, you know, we handled it, um, quickly. So you can tell, I think she's pregnant. See that they all, they're all smelling it. They know, look at that. Nirvana's like, who you think, you think you're a top dog? You think you're going to breed here? You think you're going to have puppies here? You think, you think you're, you think you're like that? Look at that. Remy's actually taller than her. And Remy will fill out too. She looks smaller. She's taller right now, but she looks smaller as far as like thickness. But, um, and I will say Nirvana is a tank, so she may not ever get as thick as Nirvana, but I will tell you that, um, that, uh, you know, kimchi is only about a year and a half. So she will fill out and get thicker. Usually after that first litter, they get, they get nice and thick. Um, but anyway, like I said, lesson learned, um, for me as far as knowing how where he's at you know what I mean um now I will say that nobody was trusting him or anything like that he shot out of his kennel like a rocket I was going to put his food in and he darted past me and just launched himself ah, 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 psh, launched himself on Kubo and I don't think it would have mattered oh man I don't think it would have mattered what dog it was um I think he just had super high tension and stuff like that and um was just ready to go so you know like I said it is what it is um everyone's fine no one needed to go see the vet no one has any marks or anything like that but um but definite a hey, nirvana absolutely not down absolutely not no ma'am no ah. no it's a bad dog. You were bad. But get your butt up and behave. And don't mess with her again. Don't mess with her again. Mouth bite. Don't. Nirvana. Very dominant female. Always taking an opportunity to prove her point. Look at that. So I don't mind that. She is gonna... She is gonna, um... Assert herself. And that's natural. So long as she doesn't take it too far, Nirvana, or be disrespectful. I would say it's like disrespectful, you know what I mean? You can make your point without being disrespectful. <clears throat> now with dogs, <clears throat> I will say that what some people's version of disrespectful is and what a dog's version of disrespectful is are two very different things. Um, but a lot of it comes down to energy... So good girl. So Remy went down. That's nice. So Remy hadn't submitted to anybody since she's been out. So that's not that's not a bad thing. <clears throat> oh goodness. Mm. Yeah, it was it was a wonderful end to the evening after working my tail off all day to have to to have to deal with that, but 
But anyway, but it's not something that I'm overly concerned about. I actually kind of thought it was funny that so many years people thought that I was going to have a fight out of my corso because we let them correct each other and they're in a pack and ah, sh 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 um, and blah, blah, blah. And yet <laughs> it's, it's the Great Pyrenees, Newfoundland. <laughs> that does it and I will tell you Kubo was actually awesome like he like asserted himself and he stood up for himself but he never like really tried to fight him if that makes sense like um it was very much Tilikum um the entire time look at that movement kimchi is looking good she is thicker than a snicker let me tell you what thicker than a snicker <clears throat> oop You know I'm watching, look at this, see that tail wag when she saw me? You know I'm watching you, right, Nirvana? Do, do you know that I'm watching you? You better get your butt over here. Okay, sorry about that. I had to answer that. I called Reese this morning and she didn't answer and then she called me back. So I just wanted to let her know that I was making a video. Oh my God, I'm so tired. But anyway, you're good. You're good. You're sweet baby. You're sweet baby. I saved you. And did. I saved you. Yes, I did. I saved you from the Nirvana la. She's a good girl. Yeah, it could be that Tilikum smelled Remy and maybe that's what, you know, like it, it might have been um, that his hormones were just too high. And I will say, I don't like... Um, it's probably not the best idea to have an unneutered male where there are so many females and hormones and things like that. You know what I mean? I bet you that for, as a livestock guardian, it probably would have distracted him and made, made him, uh, you know, not do his job properly in the end. So, um, so anyway, so I think that all around, this is the best idea. And, um, I don't know if you know this, but they do that with racehorses apparently. A lot of racehorses, which I thought was pretty counterproductive, will be gelded because, ugh, excuse me, because apparently they run better. Um, and they, they don't get distracted and I don't know. It was just, it was wild. I, I was reading that. Somebody could correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I was reading. And, um, and so obviously some of them, they keep as stallions, you know what I mean? Because there's a whole um, breeding business behind that. But there's a lot of racehorses that are not and I, I believe they're the like the ones that just keep running so not all of them are retired to stud many of them continue running for a while because um because you can make you know there's a lot more money to be made than just um, winning these big huge races like the Kentucky Derby and stuff like that so oh, anyway well, I'm gonna get inside I need some coffee I'm tired I worked so hard yesterday I'm surprised I'm up so early but that's just the way it goes, isn't it? Up at 7-something this morning when I didn't even get to bed till probably around 2 a.m. Blah! Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!